question what's the biggest piece of advice you have received for your business for my business yes the most biggest piece of advice and this is probably for every business is yes. just consistency that's it. it when i started my youtube channel like for the first year i got no views uh, Very, like no views like, like none. and, uh, and you know? how many views you have right now like on an average i'd say every every month probably get a little over a little over a million views Oh, that's pretty yeah, good for, so now for, like, for one month yeah so you started from zero and, and look at you now like someone is paying like one million okay promote my crypto then will you do do this for money or you will just reject it off well million <laughs> <laughs>
you can't sit there and give up and quit because of that. You and know? how many views you have right now, like on an average? I'd say every every month, probably get a little over a little over a million views. Oh, that's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, for, so for, like, for one month, yeah. So you started from zero and, and look at you now, like a million views a month. So it's all about consistency, like keep putting your efforts 100%, right? Yeah, because um, the first month I would post a video when I first got started, nothing. Second month, third month, fourth month. And it took maybe like on the fifth or sixth month, I got one video that actually got like 200 views in a day. Wow. And 200 views in a day for me was big. That was like and like when you start, yeah. Yeah, and I was just like, oh my gosh, and then I actually got real comments because I would always ask my family and friends to comment, so <laughs> they don't count, you know. But when I saw the actual uh, people comment, I didn't know. I was just like, oh my gosh, and I was so eager to help. And from there, it just kind of slowly became what it was today. Yes. So it's very easy to get discouraged and quit as a content creator, right? But you have to just push through that slump and just just keep doing it. Just, just force yourself. It. You know, whatever, whatever it takes. Whatever you know? it takes. Like you need to keep your head down and just keep working. So that's it. Yeah. I believe it. And what's the worst piece of advice you have ever received? The worst piece of advice I ever received. Well, th this is <laughs> this is kind of hypocritical in a way, but um, don't go for the highest, whatever pays you the most. If you go for whatever pays you the most, you're not really enjoying and believing what you're doing. Yes. You're just after the money yes. and people can see it. People on people watching videos, True. they're not stupid. They know True. what's up, you know? True. And if I sit there and say, hey guys, do you believe in this next cryptocurrency coin? Yeah, you know, a lot of gurus. Like, yeah, how they like, are. like I can take an offer for like ten, twenty thousand dollars to promote some sort of crypto. Yes. But I'm throwing my audience in the trash and I'm risking my reputation to do that, you know? What happened with Logan Paul? Like, so, you know, yeah, like, that controversy is huge, right? Like that's yeah. the biggest crypto scam, I believe, right? Yeah, it's like uh, all these guys, they, they sold themselves out for these crypto companies. Mm -hmm. And um, that's one thing I, I always rejected. I was like, you know, guys, so I you don't... So you never do this, like someone is paying like 1 million, okay, promote my crypto. Then will you do do this for money or you will just reject it? Or... Well, million. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> now that's a tricky question. Yeah, no, I, I've, I've never done it. And, I, and every time I get an email from a crypto company, yeah. I just throw in the spam. I was like, guys, this is not my industry. Even if I make the video, like since when do I make videos on crypto? You know, it's like the, the audience knows that's not what my channel is about. So if I start pushing crypto, you know, that's it. I've, I've sold out and I just I just reject any email I get from any company. So you don't believe in cryptocurrency? You don't believe in blockchain right now? Like, like what are your thoughts on, on that? Well, I actually like crypto. I like the idea of it, you know? Same. I think Same. it's really cool. I think the idea of it's cool. And I actually use it to actually pay one of my freelancers. Same. Because when PayPal raised their fees, yes, it's I too says, much. Yeah, and I was like, all right, we're 4 gonna. 4% almost. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. It is crazy. And then crypto have... is good. I think it's crypto is good as as far as you use it in a in a legal transaction. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we use uh, stable coins. So stable I just coins. pay them in stable coins because like USDT. Yeah, because if I pay them in like Ethereum or something, and then when I send it to him, Ethereum takes a dip. You know, he's losing money. So I want to make sure that he gets paid what he's supposed to get. So we use crypto for one of my freelancers and we use uh, stable points. Oh, that's pretty good. And yeah. how big is your team right now? Like a team of free freelancers you have at All your right. end. So yeah. there's, there's me, there's uh, Alan. We have our two Facebook moderators. We have our six translators. I don't know, if, I would say like 12. Yeah, 12. 12 people. Yeah, about 12 people. Yeah. So um, yeah, they get paid every month and they're great. They all like what they do. That's my main concern too was I want to make them happy of course so that they want to work with me because we've all had jobs where you hate your boss <laughs> you know yes. and when you hate your boss it shows in your work you're gonna start going to your work and you say ah oh, yeah i don't care if this company goes i don't care so i've been a victim of that so i don't want anyone i working going through that i want to make sure everyone is happy working with me they're getting paid enough and everyone gets along you know that's my main focus so what was your first job like when you started out I worked for a Mexican restaurant actually. I wow. worked for a Mexican restaurant as a bus boy. So I was bus, bus I was busing tables. So those guys who clean up the tables okay. when everyone's done eating, that's what I was doing. Okay. So And how did you got to know about WordPress and how did you get entered into this industry? Like so you were working in a restaurant, so Well no, I was actually I was actually um, I was actually going to, to college and uh, I finished college and then I wanted to be a lawyer. Oh you want to be a lawyer? Yeah. Okay. So I was attending law school. And during that, uh, that's when I basically started finding WordPress because 
you know, going to law school and everything was cool, but I want to do something else on the side, you know, and there really was no way for me to, you know, do what I want to do. So that's when I was like, you know, what, we're going to, we're going to make a blog and we're going to do what I want to do to escape all this work, you know, and stuff that's like that. Really so nice. yeah. Yeah. During, during school, I think everyone has that story too. Like Mark Zuckerberg and all these guys, they go to school, they do something on the side and then they quit school. Yes. And that's actually what happened to me. Yeah. So I did graduate, but when it came to law school, I eventually didn't take didn't take the job and I eventually quit because I wanted to become an influencer. I got it. And yeah. how did COVID-19 impacted your business? Like, was it positive or negative? I, I, I think that. you know the answer to that one. <laughs> <laughs> so my audience wanted to know it. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So, uh, so uh, COVID actually helped everyone in the digital, yes, in the digital era. Sure. So yeah. my commissions, like they just doubled and tripled. Yes. And they did that because, um, you know, everyone's at home. Mm. What are they going to do? You know, they, they want to yeah, learn how to build... online, everything like, yeah. yeah. So they were saying, you know, since I'm home all day, I'll learn how to build a website or I'll start a, a digital business or I'll start an e-commerce business. And that's where the commissions just skyrocketed because everyone's at home with nothing to do. True. So they're going to watch the, the Daryl Wilson channel, you know, and yes. uh, that's, uh, that's what happened. So it really helped my business a lot. Yes. At least for that year. Same for me, yeah. like for two years, like my actual wealth was created in COVID. Yeah. Like if you ask me like, like the amount of money I made, like it was during COVID because everybody was searching online about education courses. They want to learn something like whatever, like mm -hmm. they were searching like e-commerce sites. So I made a lot of money in like in these two years, like in COVID, like to be very honest. So it was a very, yeah, same. Like, like for me, it was pretty good. So, right, right place, right time. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> so. what is your focus in 2023? So yeah, um, I'm gonna be focusing more on traditional WordPress videos. Like basically when I first got started with, with WordPress and YouTube, I was making videos about plugins and themes and just like how to use them and like the best ones. And then I kind of ventured off. I kind of started doing videos on AI, AI how to make yes. money, uh, side hustles, passive income. And I sort of ventured off from my traditional roots. So this year I'm going back to the basics. Like traditional roots, right? The videos are a little generic, you know, like what's the best plugin? What's the best page builder? I mean, these are very generic topics, but, but these are mostly search, right? But they're mostly search and with a lot of video production and a lot of research, we can make some really good quality videos. So this whole, this whole year we're focusing back on best, you know, the top 10 best theme for themes, the top 10 best this and just stuff like that. Cause it's, it's needed and also uh, it's helpful content because it's, if you don't make it, someone else will. <laughs> you know, yes, so, for sure. Yeah. And what are your thoughts on AI? Like, so you know, it's, it's getting crazy. Like everybody started using AI now in, in 2023. I think it's it's going to be became more massive. I believe, like in 2023. If I were if I were a blogger, mm -hmm. like you, mm -hmm. I would actually be a little curious as well because now you have all these people writing just blog generated or like AI content, generated AI articles content. for, yeah, for yeah, the blog. Yeah. yeah. So for me. I, I think it's fascinating. I love using Midjourney to create images. I love the ChatGPT. I love what it is. I'm very eager to see what it is and everything. It doesn't directly affect YouTube. I don't mm -hmm. think so. Of course, for sure. I think. Yeah, I don't think it directly affects YouTube, but it affects content sites, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, and that's actually gonna be really scary because now it's like when you're going to these websites, you might just be reading a bunch of spam from just bots that's and stuff like that. And happening. Yeah. And it's gonna really saturate the market. I, I think, you know, for, from a blogger's point of view, you're gonna have a lot of blogs that are maybe even 100% AI written. And um, that could drive the market down for content writers. Um, I think you'll have to find content writers that are specialized in AI. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. That know how to use the AI <laughs> to write articles. I do have a writer's team of writers who are yeah. creating AI content, and but we do have a human intervention there, like a proofreaders are mm -hmm. there. Who are checking the content because AI gives you the like it spits out the wrong facts. Yeah. Because facts are not correct. Right? Yeah, you're right about that. And um, I think in the future you're going to see a lot more of these AI written articles. And you know you're always going to need content writers to proofread course, everything. Yes. You know? Yes. Yes. But um, that's going to be an interesting topic. Um, yeah. It's funny because Google at first said. AI written content was against guidelines. Yes, but now they're saying... Now they, now they caved in. Now they said... They, they switched oh, the it, table, it, Yeah, right? it says if it's helpful, it's yes. allowed. So they have completely yeah. caved into the whole AI thing. They I tried... think it's helpful content. It's all about helpful content. Like even if yeah. you, you created a video script for YouTube, 
yeah through with ai but the content is helpful for me because if i'm watching the video i'm getting the value out, out of it and it's good as long as mm -hmm. you're helping me out here right yeah i actually use ai for the first time to write the description in my video mm -hmm. so i think it was the one i just made actually it was like the 10 ways to make passive income i actually use ai generated description it mm -hmm. was the first time i've used it but it worked just fine like it looked really like a human wrote it so i was same, like click same. the button published and i was done same 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 yeah. i've used ai content a lot right now on my site and, mm -hmm. and, and it's working well we have the proof proof readers for sure but it's the content is is good in in some form of communication i believe like ai content is good if you proofread it well yeah if you know how to edit it well like tweak it well then it's good i think google is okay with the ai content as long as your content is not bullshitting around the topics right yeah i believe right so too yeah so, so my last question experience at wordcamp bangkok 2023 i mean i think the whole the place where they're having it the icon siam this yes, place this massive. building yeah you've i've never seen a mall that looks like this exotic yeah and words are not enough like luxurious brands no, no matter what i say like on the video no yes. one's gonna understand until you actually go there go there once right. you go there and you see it you're gonna say oh my god this place like, is so this is crazy magnificent i mean even even the ceiling the, the ceilings like they actually have like designs and everything it's like, like yes i don't know how they do it but uh, my experience here so far has just been amazing like it's fascinating right because i've been here oh, yeah. so many times i know like bangkok i think they are very good malls as compared to europe i've oh, traveled yeah. i would say like bangkok they have the best mall they are very clean they're very yeah. professional in that way because i've seen like most of the time like like malls are clean 100 percent but yeah, you're, no, you're right about that. The malls, the malls here are much better than America for sure. But yes. when I tell it to my American friends, they don't believe me. Same, and same I was here. Like, <laughs> because I tell to my friends, come, like, on, come to Thailand, so you will find it. Yeah. Like Habibi, come to Thailand. So it's like yeah. that. It's so good. It's so good. Like the food here is cheap and healthy. Very and healthy. When, when, I, when I was in US, I was like very struggle. Like I was struggling to find a good food. Like they put cheese too much. They put all these kind of yeah, it's microwaves, extra. all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and here, so you you get the fresh food instantly. Yeah. In Thailand, so that's what I like about Thailand. Like they, if they never experience it, please come here, and so you will love <laughs> this country for sure. Yeah. So I mean, that's my overall experience. Like I, I here it, the the venue's great. They mm -hmm. got the booths out there. They're all getting free stuff. I have seven or eight bags full of just freebies and stuff and like goodies yeah it's really cool to meet someone in person right because then you have chemistry and yes. then you can understand who they are and then you can work better together versus yes. just emails yes now we meet yeah. face to face and we were staying in bangkok we didn't i didn't know, know yeah. about you so now we met and we make a friendship here so that's pretty good yeah so thank you so much darren like you're sharing your journey with my readers and how my readers can reach you out do you want to share your social channels with them please yeah you guys can just go to youtube and just type in daryl wilson and my name's spelled really weird yes it's d a d a r r e l and uh yeah you guys will find me on youtube you'll, you'll see me just talking about stuff <laughs> so thank you so much guys if you like interview please share it bye take care thank you see ya